Alright, so I got my 8-core uh, uh, processor in the mail today, the uh, AMD FX 8320, um, clocked at uh, 3.5 gigahertz and the turbo of uh, 4.0. Now, um, it looks like, I don't know what happened, but I don't think this was Newegg, there's no way it was Newegg, it must have been... Uh, Must have been like just the, you know the UPS or something. Now I'm pretty sure there's nothing wrong with it, but I mean, geez, look at that huge like ugh, I don't know. Well, am I unboxing knife here? So let's get to it. Now. I have to get my motherboard swapped out with my current one before I can actually use this. Because my old one, uh, current one I'm using at the moment, doesn't even support AMD FX, uh, or AMD, sorry, sorry AM3 Plus uh, CPUs. Um, the one I'm going to be using will be this Gigabyte you know, 78LMT-USB3. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, there's people usually get the bigger one, but this is just the Micro ATX. It supports up to 32 gigs of RAM, AM3 Plus. Uh, it has an AM onboard AMD or AMD 3000, or whatever. Um, okay, uh, enough of that. Now, let's get this box open. Here we go. Um, wow, very cold to the touch. Very cold to the touch. Jeez, the box is freezing. All right, now. All right, let's get this open. The cut was so clean it felt like it was still on there, actually. This thing's got a really tight, wow, uh, this is gonna be complicated. The little flaps that go right here are kind of holding the thing. Oh my. All right, I'm gonna ruin the box a little bit. Yep, and let's try not to do that. Whatever. All right. All right. So yeah, AMD FX eight core processor black edition. There we go. Um. Let's see. FX eight through twenty. You got experience, supercharged, responsive gameplay, and mega multitasking performance with the AMD FX 8-core processor Black Edition. World's first 8-core desktop processor, unlocked and overclockable uh, AMD Turbo Core technology. That's the 4.0 I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Um, let's see, combine this processor with AMD Radeon HD graphics and AMD 9 series chipsets to enjoy the ultimate HD experience with supercharged, responsive gameplay and mega multi- Tasking performance. Um, well, sorry, AMD. I use your processors, but I'm not going to use your your video cards. Um, you don't you don't support F, uh, you don't support uh, physics. So, yep. I might get the uh, one of their video cards at some point, but not from the majority of my gaming. Now, here's the I believe the yeah the fan. And the manual. Here is the actual CPU itself. It's pretty nice. Um, standard, you know, packaging. Now, put that right on there, and you got yourself a beefy little motherboard 
I'm essentially building a very powerful well, the only thing that's going to be holding it back at all when I'm done is the video card. The video card's powerful as heck for what I've already got, but once I'm done, the stuff that's going to be in it, each part is going to be super powerful. Not the best, but it's going to be, I mean, this is an 8-core, so I'm not going to open that right now. What I was doing there, uh, set that right there. Yeah, um, I'm going to have to get another power supply as well. Um, because, you know, this plus that, and if I want to upgrade that the video card, um, I'm going to have to get more power. Plus, I'm going to be getting LEDs in there. I'm thinking about the uh, Bitphoenix, you know, I'm going to be getting the Bitphoenix Ronin case, so I'm going to get the Bitphoenix Alchemy LEDs. So, um, yeah. Uh, also, I believe, seeing as this, I think I'm, I'm going to need more plugins for this. I think these were these are what you plug into the LEDs, so um you know, the Molex connectors. I'm gonna need a lot of these. I'm gonna get at least two at least two LED strips in there. So here's the heat sink. That's it. Okay. All right. Um, here's the fan. Wow, this thing is cold. Very cold. Super cold. Wow, this sticker. Yeah, this is brand new. The sticker was just barely on there. All right. This must have been sitting in, sitting outside or something for a while this morning or something or all night. I was supposed to get it on. Well, actually, I, I ordered it on the first. Turns out that was actually a weekend, so I was supposed to get it. Um, let's see. On the third, two days ago, so it wasn't too bad. Now here's the um, the thermal paste. You know, it's, yeah, it's brand new, so I'm not gonna worry about putting anything newer on there. Stick that back on there. It's got the copper pipes for this beast, so that's gonna uh, keep it pretty cool, pretty nicely. Um, we'll see how well this actually works. It's kind of a small fan. It's one of the smallest fans I've ever seen. I think it's even smaller than the current fan I have on my uh, current processor. Weak little AMD Athlon 2, 215, 2.7, 2 whatever. Um, so that's that. Let's see if I can stick this on the motherboard and show you guys what that's going to look like without the CPU actually on there. I believe I can still put it on there without the... Actually, no, I will not be able to. But generally speaking, it'll look kind of like this. Actually, let me just turn this around like this. I believe I can stick this. No. Well, let's put this on here. Alright, so I'm not going to be able to stretch that out very much. I don't want these cords sitting right on the side of the RAM slots. I don't think they will too much, but yeah, they'll be touching. I think if I can... Yeah, you know, I don't, wanna, I don't want this touching. So, let's see. If I can uh, wrap this around here. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. I believe I can do that. Yeah, I can just do it like this. Perfect. Let's see. Um, okay. This is a weird configuration. The um, the spots for these holes right here are actually on the inside of the, uh, the things on here. So, 
Okay, so yeah, it's fine. It's gonna crush on the plastic a little bit, but that's what it's gonna look like on there. I don't like the multicolored cords on here though. You know, this is as you can see, it's essentially gonna be a black, black and silver case or uh, you know motherboard setup. Motherboard PCB itself is actually brownish, like a dark brown, but that still looks pretty nice on there, I guess. I just don't like the multicolor. One of the reasons I got this case. Or this, this uh, motherboard. Um, it's decent though. It sits on there nicely. All right, I'm gonna put um, green LEDs in this as well. The um, green alchemy ones. Um, all right, so we have that. Just cause. <laughs> well, all right. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm posting this on my Facebook as well. So if you guys on Facebook are seeing this, if you uh, want to check out my YouTube channel, um, I'll probably be posting this to my YouTube first, and then my Facebook from there. So you can just follow the link back to my channel. Um, Alright, thanks for watching.